Hello, and welcome back to another edition of the Medique Trust plugin. My name is Nathaniel P. Wilkerson, and today I wanted to dive a little deeper into what are called asymmetric rafter roofs. As you can see in this uh, model here, I've created two separate rafter roofs. One is a gable and one is just a simple hip. And both of these roofs, as you may have noticed, are what I call asymmetric. And that basically means that they're not mirrored about um, you know their axis. Okay, so <clears throat> the question is you ask why do we bring this up again? Um, well, in 2019, I think it was April, I started first working really on these asymmetric roofs and giving you the option to do that. And at that time, you know, it was, <clears throat> I came, I, I realized that uh, we had a little, well, not an issue, but so much as an option is how exactly to frame these out. And if you turn this here guy around a little bit, um, you can see that I've got this uh, ridge centered. Let's see if I can uh, move that over a little bit. Okay. So I've got this ridge centered on the sheathing. And it's, um, but, but of course it, it causes this um, other rafter to be a little proud of that ridge. So this is what I call a centered ridge. And this is originally what, I thought, well, there's two different options. And actually, I've got a little image here I want to show you. So, and I drew this actually in 2021 when I revisited the uh, concept. But <clears throat> as you can see, you've got basically two ways of framing this uh, up. And the centered option, for whatever reason, at the time in 2019, I decided that that was the more correct or better way to do it. And that's the way I initially configured uh, the rafter framing for asymmetric roofs. Um, I also realized at the time that we had this other option, and this was <clears throat> what I call a non-centered ridge, but with this one, you don't have a rafter being proud on the ridge. And so uh, for whatever reason, I'm still not entirely sure. I decided that option number two here was the better option than option number one, <clears throat> and that's the one I ran with. But I did recognize in 2019 that, you know, there was there were two possible ways of handling this. And then again, in 2021, two years later, I basically looked at it again, and said, hey, you know, which one's the better option? And at the time, I think I realized that um, maybe the uh, non-centered ridge was better, but I had not programmed it that way. So anyways, without any additional feedback, I kind of just let it let it hang and I didn't worry about it too much. And then uh, recently, um, I was talking to um, Larry Belk and Mike Morrison. Um, Mike Morrison is a framer, and Larry Belk is a uh, designer uh, slash architect. And um, you know, and, and Larry Belk has a lot of uh, very complex roofs and designs, and 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 he has also been very uh, active in uh, assisting me with uh, designing these. Um, plugins uh, especially the roof or truss plugin um, and you know <clears throat> and he's always been a, a, a huge uh, help as far as that goes so I just want to have a shout out to uh, Larry Belk for uh, his consistent and uh, uh, support uh, as far as the development of these plugins go um, but yeah basically both of them were talking a little bit about you know correct framing and discussing it with me and I guess you know both of them had actually moved over to chief architect and were working with that um, but realized uh, that chief architect was not um, framing up these uh, well in particular jack rafters I guess but I don't know all the details but Apparently the framing wasn't exact. And so, you know, and then they were noting that my framing was exact. And then after I got thinking about it, the asymmetric, I'm like, well, wait a second, maybe I'm not as exact as I think I am. <laughs> so that's anyways, how we got back, circled back to this conversation. And I thought, well, maybe we need to relook at this and see what we can come up with. So long story short, <clears throat> well, I decided uh, a couple weeks ago to take a look at this and basically I didn't really like the centered ridge anymore. I mean, I do like it in the sense that it's an option, but I think the more correct way to do it is non-centered. So what I've done is gone ahead and if you, <clears throat> once you create your rafter roof, um, you can go into the edit rafter assembly and you're going to notice here that I've added a new parameter right here and so it's called 
the center ridge, <coughs> excuse me, uh, parameter. And you'll notice I have a little note here that says it only applies to asymmetric groups. So if it's not an asymmetric group, it's a symmetric group, then this doesn't even matter. But And you can do what you will with this. But basically, you can change it, uh, toggle between symmetric or uh, not symmetric, I mean uh, centered or non-centered. So if I go back, and you'll notice now that I've, and you can really see this by looking here at the end of the gable roof, at the barge rafters, where they meet that ridge, um, you can really see what's happening. So yeah, it does make a small difference. It's not huge. Uh, and you'll notice too also that it does not actually uh, impact the, the, uh, you know, the, the roof planes or anything or the sheathing or the cladding. It, it really only impacts the location of that ridge. And then when, when you move the location, you actually will alter slightly uh, the rafter links and how they lay out. So let's take a look at that real quick here. So when I switch these toggle these back and forth, you can see that it, it it will change the length of these rafters just slightly. So it's not a huge difference, of course, but it, there is a slight difference there. Anyways, um, so yeah, basically now you've got both options at your disposal. Um, and so whichever one works best for you, you can choose that. But I think it's great that now we have uh, two options here. Okay, so let's take a look at this hip. Same thing here. Now we've got, right now we've got it non or centered, sorry. <coughs> you can see that that cladding and sheathing, or sheathing is centered right on that ridge. Now if we go ahead and edit the rafter assembly here, we're going to change that to no. Okay, see so it shifts the ridge slightly, and when it shifts the ridge, it does shift this end common rafter a little bit because that stays in line with the ridge. And of course, it doesn't actually change the hip rafters location-wise, but it does alter the <clears throat> where they met, um, meet up here in this corner. So, yeah. Long story short, these this uh, you know option for centered or non-centered ridges doesn't actually affect the roof overall geometry, but it does affect your rafters and your sizes and lengths. So. It's something to be aware of. You have that option now at your disposal, and it's just as simple as editing the rafter assembly and changing the center ridge parameter from no to yes or yes to no. So, just wanted to put that out there for you guys. Um, yeah, I'm always interested in the details of these rafter roofs. <coughs> um, there is still a lot more to be done, especially the complex roofs. I got to circle back to that now. But I'm feeling a little better now that we have this other option and I feel like, you know, the rafter roofs, even the asymmetric ones now are, are fully correct. All right. Well, if you have any other questions or concerns, um, please email me at any time or give me a call and uh, we will talk to you guys later.